Hi, Larry, WD0AKX, and in this video I'm going to give you a little demonstration here on how a beam antenna will concentrate its uh, radiated signal more or less into one direction. Now you can think of uh, like the handheld radios we use and some of our mobile antennas and base station antennas that are vertical uh, are omnidirectional and they radiate signals equally all in all directions, such as a light bulb does. You can think of a light bulb giving off light equally in all directions. However, a beam antenna <clears throat> more or less concentrates that power like a flashlight does. You can think of a beam antenna as a flashlight. Uh, it radiates or shines most of its light into one direction and it concentrates it so it's brighter in that direction. So uh, let's take a look at this little demo here. For my testing I'm going to use a homemade field strength meter and I'll be transmitting from my handheld radio here into my beam antenna but this is just relative I can adjust the sensitivity on it so when I'm a certain distance from there I can just set it to a certain point as a relative indication so basically this will just give me a relative indication of my transmitted signal and you'll be able to see the intensity of the signal so the antenna I'm going to use here for the demo is actually an antenna I built for satellite use, satellite communication, so it's dual band. This is a VHF element, the long ones for 2 meters, and the short elements are UHF beam. It's actually two beams on one, um, on, uh, one section here. So as you can see, I have this mounted on a tripod for satellite communications use, but we're going to use this as our test antenna today. This is a 2 meter beam with a reflector in the back, longest element, and the driven element connects to the radio, and then some director elements ahead of that. Maximum signal is in that direction. A signal will come in on receive and hit the uh, driven element. The beam is facing that direction right now, and that works for transmit and receive. So I'll slowly rotate the antenna here, and you can see what happens by watching the meter. When I transmit on the radio here, you'll see the signal intensity increase as I point towards the field strength meter antenna. And the antenna elements on both of these are vertically polarized right now. They're running up and down. So that does make a difference. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Right now my beam antenna and the field strength meter antenna are both vertically polarized so we'll have maximum intensity but watch as I switch to horizontal here and you'll see why it is important in local communications and ground wave communications to use the same polarity on your antennas. Sky wave doesn't matter as much because the polarity shifts through the atmosphere. I am using an off frequency in the area that's not uh, locally used and I have been IDing in between shots here which is important and the beam does hear the same as it transmits uh, it's just like cupping your ear so it does work the same in reverse. I have a handheld radio now and I'll transmit with that and notice the intensity of the signal compared to the beam how much closer I have to get to the meter here and I didn't change any settings on the field strength meter and I have one more antenna I'll show you here. That's the tape measure beam. You've probably seen these before. If not, just look them up in your search engine. They're fairly common, but it is pointing in that direction there. And it's only three elements, so the intensity will be a little less here with this off my other beam. But you'll see the directivity of this antenna also. So uh, this uh, was not a scientific uh, test by any means. I'm just uh, giving you a little demo on what these beam antennas can do. Thanks for watching and 73 WD0AKX.